good morning everyone welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to day two of my solo cruise we are looks like arriving in Nassau Bahamas right now I tell myself I'm gonna sleep in this morning but it's so hard to sleep in on a cruise ship 7 30 I think we're gonna go get some breakfast and just kind of I guess get our day started I was gonna go up to the buffet but I think I'm gonna go to Johnny Rockets because it's a little bit easier for me to go get food it's on deck six I don't have to go all the way up to the buffet which is on like deck 12 13 14 um, it's a lot of stairs to walk so i think we're gonna go to johnny rockets which is it's free in the morning for breakfast and it's on the boardwalk we haven't checked the boardwalk out quite yet so i think we're gonna head on over there and and see where the day takes us so welcome back to your daily dose let's let's go let's go have some fun we also haven't seen the new uh, the bahamas port it's brand new so we're gonna get off and check that out let me show you what we're working with today it's a beautiful day no humidity too, which is, it's, April's a good time to go cruising. At least to the Bahamas. You can get your room done once a day, by the way. I slept great too. I'm getting my, my room done at around like five o'clock. I, I told him I don't want to get them done in the morning. I'd rather, honestly, I don't even feel like I need it done on a three day cruise. I probably should have like turned down the service. <laughs> feel like I slept better on that bed and I felt no movement of the ship at the front. We were, we were smooth sailing. It was one of the best sleeps I think I've had on a cruise. Let's see how many early risers we have. You know, kind of a secret type of breakfast is in the spa. And it's like the smoothie bar. It's an upcharge, but it's, it's really good here in the Vitality Spa. The Vitality Spa smoothies, eight dollars and twenty-five cents. They're good. I think I'm just gonna go free, and I'll probably get a smoothie a little bit later. They got a lot of seating as well. It's a nice little option, especially after a workout. I'm assuming. We gotta go that way, all the way down. Being on the sixth floor kind of makes the no stair challenge very simple because I really haven't gone up to those decks as much as I thought. Well, it's only been day one. I didn't think I was gonna like my my location of the room, but I actually really do. Quick food, quick pizza, walk down one stair, go to the boardwalk for breakfast. I mean, if you wanna take the elevator, it's not that hard to go on up for the buffet, but it's very nice. I did make some friends yesterday as well. I'm gonna be hanging out with them sometime today. You make friends easily on solo cruises. Like you honestly really do. Oh, here's some food for breakfast too. I could go for a quick bite, the Promenade Cafe. Which, let's see what they actually have. Let's see here. We've got croissants, danishes, raspberry and vanilla. A croissant, an assortment of donuts here. Bran muffin, chocolate muffin, ham and cheese sandwich, smoked salmon, coleslaw wrap. We've got fruit and parfaits. And then of course another place for us to get some coffee, the upcharge coffee at Starbucks. There's like three places you can get Starbucks. But then of course in here you can get coffee for free at the Ready. This is where I kind of got like two things of coffee yesterday. It's definitely not the Pearl Cafe. The Pearl Cafe on the Icon had some very, very, very good breakfast options. That kind of just seems like basic ones. Nothing really that's going to intrigue me. If you want something quick, definitely here at the Pearl Cafe. I mean, the um, Cafe Promenade, but it's something a little fancy and got the Johnny Rockets and the Boardwalk. Which we really haven't even experienced yet on this ship. Here we go. Welcome to. The boardwalk. I don't know if Johnny Rockets is going to be that busy. I actually did get to go in here off camera a little bit. It's kind of cool as you're walking on in and it's showing that you get like the steps of the engraving or the making of a horse on the carousel. Kind of similar to concept art in a way. What is this? Well, there's donuts in the morning over here to the right. Oh, that's cool. Is this free? Boardwalk Donuts. 
This is actually a nice little spot if you uh, you want to enjoy the boardwalk. It's the same donuts that we just saw at the Cafe Promenade. You can get coffee there, orange juice. It's a nice little addition. I, I didn't know they had that here on this ship. Obviously, we have the uh, carousel. And not a lot of people at Johnny Rockets. Are they open yet? Or is just nobody know about it? I guess I'll find out when they open. Welcome to the boardwalk. I love the boardwalk. These rooms are phenomenal. I really suggest getting, this is technically an interior balcony. But the cool thing about that, it is it, about this, is it doesn't feel interior because on these Oasis ships, boom, the ocean. Awesome. Also, Sabor over here. I think um, when they do their refurbishment, Sabor is going to be going, so we might have to try out this uh, Mexican stop here. This Mexican food. Looks like I was the first person to eat here at Johnny Rockets this morning. You can request inside or outside. It makes sense because they open at 8 o'clock at 7.55, but they, uh, they still said, come on in. So let's eat away. A little better of breakfast food, and it's quick, fresh than the buffet. I mean, I'll still have to check out the buffet breakfast probably tomorrow. Again, all this is free, except I guess maybe the upcharge of that. Morning. Good morning. Because normally this is an upcharge. I'm probably going to get the breakfast sandwich just because it has Wisconsin cheddar cheese on there. That honestly sold me. And then probably some sides of stuff. Oh yeah, no, we can do that. You sure? I'm sitting by some of you guys and he wants to jump around. The food came so quick. Obviously I had to get coffee here. All this is included. This is the coffee that we just saw at the promenade and everywhere it's the basic coffee. I didn't even know that we, we rope dropped it, but we did. But this place filled up really quick. It's 8.03 right I got my food in six minutes, and this place is kind of already filled up. So if you want to get here, make sure you get here five minutes before 8 or 8 o'clock, at least on this cruise ship. Here's the sandwich. Very basic, but it it's going to do the trick. Very good sausage. Get the sausage. And then, of course, got to get the coffee. Gotta feel, I'm thinking about taking a nap sometime today. Gotta have like an appetizer. Uh, I mean, that's what cruising is about, right? Sometimes taking naps. Well, to say the least, breakfast was delicious, and we also have a very cool view to look at as well. Like, ugh, this really never gets old, no matter what Oasis class you're on. I really wonder how packed uh, breakfast was this morning upstairs, but Johnny Rockets. Always a clutch one, especially when you're on deck number six. I do want to come over here because we're going to attempt to go to the Aqua show tonight. But again, we don't have reservations. If you if you missed yesterday's video, it sold out instantly and we couldn't get one after I was live streaming. So the best thing we can do is kind of show up a little bit before the show. I think 20 minutes. I'm going to show up a half hour just to see if I can get a seat somehow because I got to be able to see the show. But the problem is they're so popular. If anything, I'm probably gonna be getting a spot all the way back here, but if at least I can see the show, we'll see it. But if we can't do it today, we'll, we'll try tomorrow on the last night, the Aqua Show. Stunning. Also, I feel like there's not see-through glass on the other ships. Usually that's like kind of blocked and it's just like a wall. So that's kind of cool. As we're coming on into port here, it's a great morning. I can't tell you guys on how perfect this weather is so far. It's gorgeous. No humidity at all. A little secret if you kind of want your own little private deck is to come up by the rock wall. No one ever knows to come on up here and you kind of have this whole balcony to yourself as we're coming on into port or just, you know, sailing away, whatever it is. No one really knows about it ever. That goes for that side over there and over here too. It's surprising they actually keep like the, this area open. Like I could just freely walk into the rock climbing area if I wanted to. I think they would have that gate closed. Welcome back to NASA y'all. We're gonna get off and possibly explore, but I just wanna see the new port really. 
My overall conclusion so far, well not conclusion, mid-conclusion, is this ship is a really good ship for a good price if you book it out kind of far enough. It was a little bit more expensive for me since I kind of booked it later for when you should be booking cruise ships. That's usually kind of how I roll when I book cruise ships. It's going to be on the more expensive side for me because I usually plan out really far or I book it really, really, um, you know, late. But um, this ship doesn't feel old at all and I love it. I love it. I can't wait to see what they do in dry dock in 2025, but it's a great ship. I love it. Oh wow, I even forgot about this. It extends. Oh, it's like the private balcony. We've, we've done this on the Oasis. Ooh, what ships do we have here? We got one, two, three, four of them so far. And then we also, way in the distance, we have another ship coming. If you guys can't tell, that is the Disney Wish. Oh, she looks beautiful. It always puts a smile on my face coming into the port. You know, this always reminds me of NASA. It reminds me of the independence, or sorry, not the independence, the adventure of the seas, the first ever sailing, when there is no other cruise ships here. and We're the only one in port, which is probably like, I'll never ever see that again when there's just one ship in, in port at NASA. Oh my gosh, I want to go to the other side real quick. It's just crazy on how much space the Oasis takes up. I've never seen, or I've never been this close over here ever before. <laughs> Look at this. Insane on how close we are to that. Wow. Ships are massive. All right. I think I'm gonna get ready to get off the ship here as we're probably gonna be leaving in about 50 minutes or so. Looks like the donuts place is kind of cleared on out. And up we go. Oh boy. Especially on these ships, I like to take little breaks. So I'm gonna stop on deck eight here and go through Central Park. It just sort of kind of breaks up the work that we have to do. You know, it's a good thing yesterday we found one duck because I have not been able to see any ducks at all. The place we found it too in the promenade was very rare. You guys hear the birds chirping? Look at that. Trying Oasis class ship, I'm telling you. They are the best in the world. Could get Park Cafe breakfast too here. This is a neat little spot. There's kind of like a, a circular area, like a little private little bench. But um, the Park Cafe has the same food besides this one sandwich that I found. Other than that, it's completely the same as the food that we just saw at the other locations. Still need to check out breakfast. That will probably be coming in tomorrow's video. Isn't this area nice? Kind of got your own privacy in the park. Like, look at this. Pretty neat. We made it. We're all the way up. Also forgot too, we have the specialty dining Samba Grill, which is only on two royal ships. This in and another ship. This turns into a Samba at night. Excited to check that out. Brazilian Steakhouse, right here in the Solarium. I gotta figure out how to get down there. There's a cool like lookout deck below the Solarium. Quick chance to see the hot tubs while it's empty. Solarium's a nice vibe. I wonder how hot it gets when it's like humid months. But since they kind of do have it open, I don't think it's that bad, but I feel like the refurbishment, they're gonna close this. Cause that's how they are now. Got to the side hot tubs before people get here. They didn't know it was two separate ones. I think it should be one giant one. Maybe they'll change that. Oh, there's a TV here too. Oh, that makes sense. To the sun deck, you have to go to 14, but go through the rooms area. 
Interesting. Because the kids' place is right over here to the right in the middle. These rooms could be pretty loud. A lot of people getting to the sun deck. I'd maybe try to avoid this area. Be looking for like a quieter area. What a very weird design. Well, here's the sun deck. Each side kind of has a wing for you to go out on. A lot of space here. Solarium is just above us. Looks like we have Mariner of the Seas joining us. Or actually, technically, we're joining them. They were here before us. This wing, this wing is pretty neat. Definitely gets windy out, though. Seems like a lot of people don't know about this. I mean, it's really weird on how you get to it. Floor 14. So maybe come out here on a sea day or something. I actually just ran on in to uh, some friends that I have made. They watched the videos. They actually have a room here and they said it's actually not that bad. So it seems like a lot of people don't, oh, this is closed. I gotta go the other side. A lot of people don't know about this. So hey, deck 14 over here might be nice because you kind of have like an extended balcony to yourself. Look who I just spotted. There she is. The Disney Wish. What a beauty of a ship. Looks like they're pulling straight in today. They're not going to be backing on up. I miss you. I love you. You know, even though we were just on that ship, I, I really do miss it. I love it so much. We'll be back one of these days. I want to do a Halloween on the high seas cruise. Anyways, we love you Disney Wish. Back to our ship. Ooh, I think we're just catching an opening up. Quick look at the, the kids splash pad. That's like a tide pool. Goes around in circles. Really, really cool. I've never seen that on a, on a cruise ship from what I remember. This is pretty much one of the only places for kids to kind of enjoy. So that's why I haven't really been seeing too many kids. It's definitely like an adult cruise for sure. At least until next year. We'll see what they all add. It's still a nice little area, but I feel like if you have kiddos, this is where you're gonna be all the time. Nice thing is there's like four bars right nearby if, you know, you wanna get some adult beverages. I'm sure they're gonna transition these to the lime and coconut on both sides, because bar, 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 bar. Still feels weird to do, but that's what you do on cruise ships. I remember my second ever cruise, I had no idea what to do with my cups, and it felt really weird to just leave it out. Look at all these cruisers. I kind of like having this view because we can see when we are able to get off. Oh, looks just, right now, those are the first people off. So we can, Go to NASA right now if we want to. I'm gonna hop off here in a second. And then we'll get going. I was just waving to these guys. We were talking. What's your name? There's also a good room for watching pier runners. If you miss the, the ship at NASA, I don't know what you're doing, but um, we'll see if we see any pier runners today. Time to get off the ship. I think I can get off over here. Deck six is a hack. I've got everything in like this neighborhood. It's really nice. Pretty much the no stairs, or sorry, no elevator challenge is a breeze. And just like that, we are off in like two seconds. So is a lot of other people. Sorry, I'll just notice I was in uh, cinema mode. <laughs> I think you got a few shots in cinema mode. All right, let's go check out this new port. This is when you can tell it's spring break. It's quite the zoo here. Jack Sparrow? I can't even begin to tell you how nice it is out. It is beautiful. We lucked out with no rain and no like sweat weather. I'm sure like if you're out here all day, but like it is gorgeous, April. You can do it, cruise. I mean, it's gonna be crowded, but like the weather is unbeatable. Hi guys, please look at the ticket. All liberty guests on this side. All other guests on this side. Thank you. 
There she is, and there is our room right there. That that that's my room. Right there by that camera. In the middle of your screen. It's our cabin. It's a really nice one. I actually love it. Always a fun sight to see two cruises next to each other. By the way, if you guys have AT&T, get the International Day Pass. I think it's like five, ten dollars per time you activate it, but it gets to use your phone like you use it in um, in home, in America. One city here, many cities behind us. If you've never cruised, I encourage you to do so, guys. I'm telling you, even if it's solo, just go enjoy yourself, live your best life. No regrets. There's the wish. Now this new like port terminal opened almost a year ago and we were here pretty much for the whole construction of it. And we're like a year late, I think it was like May, June of last year. So I'm excited to see it. I actually haven't really looked at any videos of it. Well, here it is. First time I'm gonna be stepping on foot into this area. It's really hard to come to uh, NASA and not go to Atlantis. It's filled with advertisements here. The day pass has kind of gotten pretty expensive. Maybe next time we're going to be going our next solo trip, I'll, I'll head on over to Atlantis. Now in the past, we would go right to the right. It looks like we just walked through this building with the big LCD screen of 3D Turtle coming on out. I'm sure there's many different scenes. Oh, some of the screens already broke. That stinks. It's neat though. I have seen that obviously from the ships. Let's go check out this whole new area. Looks way updated, obviously. Is this like a line to take a picture? Oh no, this is a line to get back on the ship. Okay, so this is where security is. See that? So they're checking the, their, their uh, cruise keys. That makes sense. And then on into the straw market. All new. This is where you're going to get a lot of people trying to sell you stuff. Pretty much every step of the way. They've got a designated building for taxis over here. But you can just walk outside and... Get a taxi, it's it's safe and it's shared. It'll be, I believe, a little bit cheaper than going through the actual taxi building. Right over here, the taxis haven't, haven't changed. It's quick, easy, I mean, expect 15, 20 bucks. Taxi building looks to be right over here and it's got quite the line, actually. Go, scooters, ATVs. Side by side. Oh, this is a cute little market spot. Oh, like 20 shops in this area. It's like they made this area for those who do not want to leave the cruise port and kind of be in like a non, I guess like a safer environment for those who are like maybe first time cruisers to you know, venture on out into NASA itself. This is so interesting. There's seats with like sinks here. Like everyone has a sink. Like look at this. Interesting. It's very nice. I do though recommend venturing on out over here so you can actually see NASA as it is. Cause this is very like touristy design, but it's, it's really nice. Very clean, they've got gelato. This just keeps on going and going. The buses even have cover for the taxis. That is mega important when it rains here all the time. They did a really nice job with this cruise port. Like, is anybody else impressed? This is super nice. And at the end, we've got the port plaza. Also, there's so many bars, so many bars. Let's see the prices. Uh, that's photos. Honestly, pretty darn expensive. 
It's kind of what you expect on the cruise ship. If you leave the port area, you'll definitely find cheaper alcohol. You're just kind of getting hit with like the touristy type traps. It's nice. A very nice concert venue space. No concert today. They also have nice grass here. Wow. Beautiful port. Absolutely beautiful. There's several exits. If you walk all the way down here, it actually dumps out by Senior Frogs. I'm just going to leave here for a second. I miss the Bahamas. Oh, wow. It actually keeps on going. Holy cow. Look at this. Stunning. It actually takes you out to the pier. And conveniently, again, right by Senior Frogs. Tons of boats leaving here today, too. Looks like to come back in. I don't know if anyone's really checking. I think there's a guy right here and he kind of checks to see if they have their their IDs or just a, a cruise card. But I feel like you can kind of just freely come and go here. Ah, oh, that's the quickest I feel like I've ever gotten to Senior Frogs. It's hard not to jump in this water. What a beautiful day. Just a heads up, as soon as you step out of these doors, you are going to get asked to buy whatever it is. There is like 10 people at each, end, at each entrance trying to, trying to sell you, you know, it's a hustle. It's a hustle, cigars, big guy. Beer, do you want a beer, beer boy? A lot of nice souvenirs here as well. That's a thousand dollars, holy cow. 14 bucks for these nice little cups here, I guess maybe to put your jewelry or something in it. We got some pretty expensive stuff in, in this store. I think we're in like one of the higher end stores for sure, but there's a lot of people in here. It's very nice. Okay, with that, I'm gonna head back on the ship. I wanna get some food. Back we go, it's getting really busy out here. Please show your ship card and photo ID. The Disney Cruise Line actually has their own line over there. Everybody else has got to go to this side. That's kind of nice. Wow, look at all the people. Oh my gosh, these people are crazy. How many of these here? Ah, oh, that's cool. The Disney Wish is testing one of their emergency boats. So that's what the sound was. Just like that, we're, we're back home. Let's go get some lunch. Cruising is in full force. That's also why Royal Caribbean ships are really expensive right now, because everybody wants to do Royal. Pizza sounds good right about now. Except they still might be sh having some breakfast upstairs. I'm gonna go up and check. I'm totally feeling this stairs, this stair challenge right here. Calves are burning. <sighs> made it just in time for breakfast. Breakfast ends at 11. I made it by like two minutes. I kind of just grabbed my favorites. We got double the breakfast fun today. Probably not gonna eat all of it because I want to have some lunch. And lunch, lunch begins at 11:30. It's hard to beat double breakfast, right? Honestly, everything on this ship has been good. The only thing I probably didn't enjoy this much on this plate was just the cheese omelet, but the food has been fire. It does appear as well, a lot of people have stayed on the ship. A lot. They're all up here, no one's in Central Park. A lot of people on the chairs. Just found a really cool spot in Central Park. Deck nine. Is this, is this open already? Check this out. A nice little balcony inside Central Park. It's on both sides. Over there and over there too. This is neat. Kind of acts as like a Central Park, Central Park balcony in a way. 
Even though we just ate, I want to go <laughs> go eat some more. I think I'm going to go down to the spa and get something healthy for once and get a smoothie. It's an upcharge, but a smoothie sounds really good and, and refreshing right now. I feel like this cruise is all about eating for me, which I didn't think it was going to be. You kind of just go with the flow and see where it's going to take you, and I think the food's taken me this cruise ship. It just came on down here, and we actually have our cruise director doing like a little interview that I think is going to go on like the TVs. It's cool. I've never seen them film that. But I got a strawberry banana smoothie, $8.25. It's all fresh fruit. Not frozen, fresh. Highly suggested. There it is. Uh, with the service fee and then like a tip, this is actually about 10 bucks. It's worth it though. Just trust the process. It's so good, guys. Get one. Maybe you can get a shot with it too, I don't know. Promenades, predominantly empty. I'm gonna go get a slice of pizza with my healthy smoothie. Great combo. Don't mind if I do. Noon to 3 a.m. <laughs> Those are some nice times. Listen, uh, cruise ships is all about moderation. I only allow myself one slice at a time. There's so much food to try. I, I still want to go for the buffet because it's lunch now. So, barbecue chicken it is. And then whatever they have up there. Sort of kind of regretting the stair challenge right now. I didn't think it was possible, but climbing up these stairs, I somehow lost my appetite. I really feel, I mean, we saw a ton of people get off this ship, which is really strange. I mean, that just shows you how many people are on this ship in general, because it feels like the ship is still really packed. At least on the top deck, this is where everybody obviously wants to be. I mean, it's packed, it's kind of hard to find a spot. No one really wants to tan here in the middle. So it's kind of a perfect area for us as a solo cruiser. Okay, I got hungry again. Windjammer's a little bit different on this ship. It's kind of in a weird area, like the entrance is very, very tiny. A very narrow washing facility for an Oasis class, you know? I feel like I'd rather have pizza, but they've got a lot of assortments of pasta. Ooh, those pork chops look good. Roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes. They've got burgers. Sweet and sour chicken and then some stir fry. The sweet and sour chicken looks good. I think I'm gonna get some of that. I guess they call these grilled bangers, but that's that's a brat. The buffet didn't really spark my interest. This is all I got. And there's actually one place I really wanna go, which is just opened. I wanna come on right over here. It's a long line though. El Loco Fresh, completely free, and it is way better than the buffet. Got the chips, I'm gonna get some queso too. I'm gonna get chicken instead of beef on, on my uh, my nachos. You can also get pulled pork as well. Thank you so much. Cheese in it, chicken quesadilla. Now we gotta get some toppings. Here's the toppings that we have. There's two stations. Gotta get some jalapenos. Plenty seating out here, but I'm gonna go down to the room to eat this. The quesadilla did not make the trip. I was eating that while I was going. This is just okay. It's not like anything great. You know, being from Wisconsin, the cheese isn't the best, the queso that they put on, but the jalapenos and everything else you put on it makes it so good. Whew. Okay, just took a shower. I was not going to lie. It took a little bit of an appetizer, about a 15-minute shut-eye session. Going to go meet up with some friends that I uh, I met up with and just met on the ship here, which was... Super enjoyable, probably gonna, I'm gonna, I need an espresso martini. Probably the only drink I'm gonna get today is gonna be that, but I, I made a change. Going more casual tonight, Disney shirt. I don't know if you asked to see a, a uh, outfit of the day, but here it is. It's the outfit of the night. I might change for dinner too, just cause I'm going to sit down. Oh, I'm also wearing my Packer hat. You know, gotta rip my Packers. It's getting later in the day where we're gonna see some pure runners soon. It's gonna be fun. We're right by, obviously, where they come back on. Hopefully no one misses it, but it will be entertainment if some people come late. And we're on the move again. Now, something I've pretty much done on every ship besides this one was go ice skating. 
I elected not to because my legs have been hurting so bad from going up these steps for some reason. That's cool. Don't walk, walk. It's just been tough, this ship. And I figured ice skating would make it even worse. I believe this is the comedy club right here. This is sold out if you guys want to do that. Book that day one, it's all, all gone. But ice skating obviously is in Studio B. By the way, to ice skate too, you need to have pants. I even brought pants. I just, it was kind of like a game, game decision, game time decision. I just selected not to. And I'm probably gonna see the ice show at another time too. Probably tomorrow, I just, it's such a good show. I love the ice skating shows. I will say as well, I really like how on Icon, it's now like a circle ice skating rink. It definitely adds a different feel. I mean, the rectangle is obviously still fine, but when it's a circle, they can do a lot more cool tricks. And that's why they elect to do that on the Icon. It's a spot. I'm really surprised with the crowds on this this ship. Doesn't feel like a lot of people got off. Guys, I don't know what is going on, but doing the stairs has like really made me so tired. It's it's tough right now. I've done seven night cruises with the with the no elevator challenge and I'm feeling it the most on this ship. It makes no sense. I will say, even though like it's technically my job to sometimes be a solo cruiser, I just haven't done it in a while. I'm definitely growing more accustomed to it and getting used to kind of just wandering the ship by myself and it's really enjoyable. It honestly really is. Yeah, sure enough, they usually have curtains right here and you can never see inside the ship. Check it out. <laughs> this is usually covered up, this is so cool. Wow, hopefully we get to see this show. Here we go, ladies and gents. It's 4.15, all aboard is 4.30. Do know there is a 30 minute grace period, so technically everyone has until five, and then the ship has to leave. We've got 10 minutes until all aboard. Like, they're starting to pack everything up here. People are really cutting it close. Couldn't catch me doing that. We still have more coming. Technically, it's until five. So we gotta wait a half hour to see if we have any pew runners. This is without a doubt one of the best things on a cruise ship. If you've never done it, do it. I guess it might be a, a solo type cruise activity, unofficial activity. Well, here it is, all aboard 4.30. It is 4.30 basically. Everybody here from here on out is late. We got some runners. <laughs> For Mariner. Oh, more runners. <laughs> I think they leave before us. <laughs> they think they're gonna miss it. That's so funny. <laughs> People have been booing. And those are the last people. Pack up begins. Well, that was fun. Sailing away, wasting no time. I, um, change shirts for you. Did my hair. Bye bye, Nassau. Bye bye. It's time for dinner. It's time for a samba. All the way in the solarium. So this is very interesting. I feel like this is gonna be here just for a year and then they're gonna change it out. But this is kind of like a buffet. And then it's also, they bring meat to your table. Here's all the meats that you can have. I'm gonna try every single one of them. Hopefully I leave stuffed. I don't know, but I'm excited to uh, have Samba tonight. It's really interesting. A buffet, but a not buffet, you know? When are they open? 7.30. Seems like there's a big party going on in the solarium right now at the moment, but here's like the buffet. 
the, kind of your appetizers and your desserts as well. I guess I'll check this once we, you know, actually start eating here. Apparently I came in on the wrong side. I'm gonna see if I can just eat now. I'm here now. My reservation is not until six, but I kind of figured that they were gonna let me sit down a little bit early here. It doesn't really seem too uh, too busy. I don't know if it's a popular one or not, but um, yeah, we're here and um, they open at five, five till nine. 30 bucks, I think 39 bucks it was for me per person. Let me just say, as far as like eating by myself, I'm never really worried about it too much. Maybe if you're like, you know, for like solo cruising for the first time or in general, like I'm really comfortable. I'm sitting here talking to a camera while I'm eating. So eating by myself doesn't really bother, really bother me at all. Well, here we go. See them bringing out the meat. They're gonna do that soon for us, but we're gonna begin the appetizer phase of this. By the way, it's $44, not 30 or 39. We have our Caesar salad, shrimp, cocktail, we're gonna have, what do we have over here? Chicken salad, Brazilian coleslaw. She said this beef and cucumber salad is really good, so we're gonna have to try that out. Looks like we've got some mozzarella and tomatoes, potato salad she said was also amazing too. Olives, asparagus. We've got tuna here, I don't know if I'm feeling tuna. Grilled beef with mixed bean salad. We've got ceviche and calamari, and then of course to top it off here, we've got our charcuterie board. She said you could take this whole thing if you wanted. I think she was joking though. Looks like we've got some bread here too, garlic bread, that's new, I haven't seen that on the ship, and then just what we see pretty much throughout the ship in general. And then desserts are also here in the middle. You could start out with dessert. So here we actually have our hot appetizers, I believe we have, this is like banana with breading, yucca, rice and then this is like mozzarella inside. I wish you guys could have just seen the face that I made with when I ate this banana thing. It's delicious. It's like fried banana. Didn't expect this, but they brought uh, they brought some sauces here for each of the specific meats that we're gonna be having. I just tried the beef cucumber salad. Really good. The beef is a little bit, I mean, it's supposed to be cold. It's like chilled. It's like room temperature meat. And then of course, shrimp cocktail. This is kind of cool. First of all, I'm trying to pace myself because there's eight different types of meat that they're gonna be delivering. Green means they know that they're gonna come and give you some meat or different meat. Red means slow down. So it's kind of cool that they give you this to like kind of like inform the waiter, hey, I'm ready. Come give me some food. So I'm green right now. I also have a really nice view. All right, so to begin here on the left, we're gonna have beef tenderloin and on the right, we're going to have lamb. I believe if you want more, you can request more, but we're gonna be getting a lot of meat. I don't even know if I'm gonna want seconds of each. I just had a bite of the beef tenderloin and it was insanely juicy and they already brought us out some more meats. Here we got the Brazilian sausage and then next to this, this is really cool. You have the frangu, which is t uh, tender chicken breast wrapped in bacon. So far my takeaway is I'm very confused on why there is not many people here because this is excellent. Oh man. Look at that. Oh, I get to help. Cool. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. This is the pecan or pecan. It's a signature cut of beef, the prime cut of top sirloin. I got to put mine on red because they just keep coming. I got to, I, I need it on red. You got to use the sauces too because it actually really like it helps it a lot. And they tell you which one to use for each meat. And by the way, I also got that as well. There's just, there's a lot of food. This top sirloin cut one, it's, uh, it kind of reminds me of ribeye. It's very fatty, but I feel like it's better than ribeye. It's, it's got amazing flavor. Whew. All I gotta say is, oh. I don't know if I can really eat dessert, but they have flan. I gotta try the flan. Like flan is amazing. We've got chocolate rum cake. And then they have this mango passion fruit mousse. I gotta try this. Okay, the flan was just okay, nothing special, but the mango passion fruit thing was unbelievable. I'm actually really tempted to go get another one. I didn't think I had room, but this thing is so good. And now we got a sun setting. I cannot believe how good that was. Honestly, it was almost a little bit too much. You gotta love meat, obviously, to go there. Everything was delicious when it was paired, obviously, with the sauces that they gave you, but nothing but good things to say about Samba. It got busier as the night went on. If you want, try it out. I, I, I kind of, I don't know if I like it better than Chops. It was just like they just kept bringing so much, so much, but it was 
I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Blown away. I did leave stuff too. In my eyes, it is better than main dining. However, you gotta love meat. You gotta love meat for Samba. I honestly don't think I can walk after that. It's more like a waddle. It's a gorgeous night out. Hopefully we get to go to the show, the Aqua Show. I'm gonna show up early. See if we can uh, walk on up. Ooh. Oh. Is that a bird? Is that a bat? Is that a pterodactyl? That's a new one. Oh my god, I love towel animals. Like, how can you not? Okay. I want to change into more casual for the, for the show tonight. The nice thing about perfect day is we don't have to go far at all, so we are crawling. We've been gone for a while, and you know, there's all the ships that were in port with us. You can still see the Bahamas. All right, I'm showing up an hour before the show starts. I don't think I'm going to be able to get into this one because it's the first one of the ship. But if you can't watch it, we'll be able to see them warming up, I think. I think we missed the warm up period. I'm not sure if these count as seats. I could camp out here. I don't know. If anything, we got a sunset to watch. I just asked, these are part of the reservation, so it's gonna be tough to see the show tonight. Just came up here to see some stunts going down. Oh well, they just cleared all the seats too. I wonder if I can watch up here. I think I could. I might have just found a secret hack. I'm unsure if you can actually watch it up here. We're gonna find out. I don't know if they kick us out or not, but I have a chair set up and this would be kind of a nice place to to watch the aqua show if we can without a reservation. I don't know if they shut it down or what. Hi. <laughs> Seating for the show starts about an hour. Actually exactly an hour until the show. So 7.15. They're gonna start. I don't know if this is for the show. He is standing on his head. Looks like at 7.50, that's when they let the standby in, and there's actually still plenty of spots, but not that much. These are the two that we saw beforehand. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Instead of going down there, I'm actually gonna walk through like the cabins. 
this aqua show i'm gonna do a hot take here i think this was a little bit better than icon of the seas i feel like icon with uh, the aqua dome they're a little bit limited on like the height aspect this show i mean not to take away from you know any other aqua shows this one was just it was so good i don't know i was really wowed by this there's a lot more diving and no matter what aqua show you see it's going to be good but i feel like since i just you know was on icon of the seas i gotta i gotta rate them and compare them this one i believe is better i really thought walking away from the aqua dome on the icon i feel like it was just missing something and i feel like they did way more high dives and high dives is obviously gets the people going awesome show okay I'm back in the room. I'm gonna probably turn in for the night for the vlog and do some off-camera adventures. We have a an exciting day tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to perfect day. I've got a lot, a lot planned tomorrow. So I do need to get a good night's sleep after all. It's nine o'clock right here now. I gotta finish editing the video and um, yeah, what a day. This was another long vlog. So if you made it here, comment down below. Kyle's vlogs are the best. I, I don't know. With that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning on in. Another solo day in the books. Two more vlogs coming your guys' way. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What a day. We did so much.